Hi there, I'm Robin Barton, the High Trust Practice Leader at LBMC. Let's chat today about High Trust Inheritance. What is it? How can it benefit you? And should you use it? Spoiler alert, you absolutely should. Inheriting is simply leveraging high trust testing that's already been completed, both internally from within your own organization or externally, such as a service provider. This helps eliminate the need for any duplicative testing by using work that's already been performed. So an opportunity to make the assessment process more efficient, saving both time and money, sign me up. Now I mentioned two types of inheritance, internal and external. Internal inheritance is within the same organization, such as between a shared IT service and the business. Here's an example. An organization might first choose to do an assessment against their entity level controls. These are the controls that are consistently applied across all areas of the business, so think, personnel security or awareness training. After that report's finalized, if they do a second assessment against a separate part of the organization, they can inherit all of those entity level controls, eliminating the need to retest, rescore, revalidate. External inheritance is exactly what it sounds like. Service providers make their assessment results available to customers who use their services. Most cloud service providers like Amazon, Microsoft and Google, they all are high trust certified, so the organizations that use their services can benefit from the work that they've already done. Deciding what to inherit, this really depends on how control responsibilities are shared. It, to help, high trust has created a baseline template called the Shared Responsibility Matrix, and then from there, most service providers have further defined that for their organization. This helps guide their customers on what is available for inheritance. A requirement can be partially inherited as well, meaning that there's some responsibility that's shared between the organization and the service provider. So, for example, a company that has a hybrid cloud environment, they may host some servers on prem, the rest in the cloud. For partial inheritance, they assign a weighted percentage partially to their cloud environment and partially to the on prem. And then the MyCSF will just average the scores for testing. Bottom line, depending on the type of assessment that you have and the scope of your assessment, there is a potential to partially or fully inherit up to 70 to 85 percent of requirements. I mean, it's simply a no brainer for me. You must have an active annual MyCSF subscription in order to use inheritance. So don't settle for the report only or the light options if you want to take advantage of this. Should you have any questions, please let me know. I'm always happy to help. Thanks for listening.